Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to actually stop screen. How's everybody doing? So waiting just for a couple seconds for Jules to come in. Um, because of all the, the gas shortage in a bunch of different states, she lives in a state that was dealing with that. And so she was driving all over creation to find um, gas. So can't fault her for that. <laughs> yeah. So in the meantime, I think I will go ahead and start. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm such a mess today. <clears throat> okay. YouTube is being weird. Okay. Okay, guys, you ready? <laughs> so we're just going to start watching this video, and Jules will pop in when she can. Okay. Oh, there's Jules. Never mind. Hold on. What's up? Hold on one second. Let me connect my... Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I... I had to find my charger for my headset. We're live? <laughs> yep. Are we live? Oh, my God. Yeah, did you get gas? I got gas. Cool. Okay. Did you tell everybody about the gas? I did. I yeah, drove this... around for a fucking hour and a half trying to fucking find gas. <laughs> yeah. So. Damn. I'm going to um, share screen, share audio. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. Which one's this one? For your information, G Man. Yeah. Joel has gas. Janice. Me and G Man are not fighting with each other, okay? We're not fighting with each other. In fact, we talked to each other yesterday and it was pleasant. So stop putting that rumor along that me and G Man are fighting, blah, blah. Can you guys hear it okay? Is the audio okay? Also to give kind of a, a background. So <laughs> she's literally been streaming all day long. She's done, I think three very long live streams. This one is two and a half hours. We're not going to do the whole thing, but yeah, she was definitely on like on some stuff today. So let me um, do that. See guys, I'm learning. <laughs> Learning. I was going to turn the mixer up. Oh, that's probably why you guys couldn't hear. I don't know why it does that to me every time. Okay. <clears throat> Try it again. Okay. God, uh, really, before you start, I think it's yeah. so funny how many Jules accounts have popped up. Literally, I see them <laughs> everywhere. Like, I saw, like, really funny ones, and then I see all the Jules number, whatever, how many numbers, fans. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of curious in who they are. Don't think I they're going to awesome. tell me, but. Jules is the best. <laughs> Someone said <laughs> I had a cult following now. I'm like, shit, might as well. Mm-hmm. Cult of Jules. Okay, here we go. I'll play. Blah, 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 blah. What you saw was a disagreement and me putting that disagreement out very publicly. That's what you saw. You think that every disagreement is like a broken relationship. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You know, I think me and G-Man have known each other long enough that he knows I have certain aspects that I want to see of him and he has certain aspects he wants to see of me. I want G-Man to be more gentler, more wiser with his words. I want G-Man to be more loving to his fellow man and atheists. While G-Man, he, 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 he calls it freaking... I don't know. Uh, 
Jesus commanded us to love G man, but yeah, commanded it not, not not just suggested. He commanded. In fact, it's his two greatest commandments, and every the law like hangs under that. So I'd rather just freaking love and do his two greatest commandments than think about the other ones. Because what's the point? Oh, she's so loving, guys. Hearts, hearts <laughs> in the chat. She's so loving. Well, and the, the other thing I think is funny is that she was like, well, me and G-Man don't have issues. Y'all are making that up. Then makes a fucking video about G-Man says how they're not going to talk anymore. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, right? Jesus. If you're fulfilling the, the two great commandments, you fulfill all the law. So, love. Anyway. Why is that such a hard concept for people to love? But G-Man, on the other hand, he has this thing where he wants me to keep preaching the gospel over and over again. And I'm like, G-Man, they've already heard it. I don't need to tell them it again. He has his differences. I have my differences. Are, 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 are we in this continual, perpetual state of argument? No. Uh, again, is another internet rumor because they don't seem to get me and G-Man's relationship. It's a very hardcore, honest, blunt, spiritual relationship no, it's that we will toxic. always have. We will always have the spiritual connection. Yeah, it's very toxic. She talks to everybody around her. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. There's nothing he can do to stop it. And we will always truly, truly love each other. But at the same time, we will truly always be fucking pissed off. Because I'm a new age Christian while he's a stupid fucking, like, I have to be uptight fucking Christian. And I'm telling him to be fucking lax. And he's saying, no, I have to preach the word of God. And I'm like, but you don't have to preach the word of God. You could just show it. Hmm. Hmm. Are you showing it, Shani? Just a thought. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he's gotten a lot better through the years. Trust me, I've worked on him hard. You know, like, if anything, we really are like two swords rubbing against each other, but... <laughs> Don't you just love the innuendos that she keeps putting out? Oh In my the god. Windows. <laughs> In the window. Yep. Wow. Two swords rubbing together. She's been working on him. <laughs> what? But you know what? Iron sharpens iron, and that's what we've done with each other spiritually is sharpen each other. That's why G-Man, you'll never see him argue with me or put me bomb blast on the internet. He won't do that. You know why he won't do that? Because he knows I'm always in the right. No, he likes white women. And he likes you. <laughs> That's why. Because G-Man doesn't have any integrity. Integrity. Yep. That that's a fact. He always knows I'm in his in, in the right. He always knows I'm I'm the one who's right. I'm the one who wins all the debates. <laughs> He'll even brag and be like, "Yeah, Shannon wins all the debates. She's she usually is the right one in in the relationship." Yes, I am, G Man. Damn. Yes, I am. Kind of toxic. Toxic. Yeah, but guys, she's not narcissistic at all. I'm yeah, always yeah. right. <laughs> Literally, like, you can't always be right. And it's just like, I win yeah. the debates. Like, both of y'all are stupid as fuck. Imagine debating, like, every conversation you had with somebody. That's exhausting. Like, I can't, I can't do with that. Yeah. With me, because you know I'm in the right. When I say something, I mean it. It's like, I'm in the right, dude. 
in the right you can't you can't stop me man i'm telling you man when and, and when i put my foot down he knows like oh shit god is seriously going to punish me and he does he always does he always does god always punishes g-man for being a dick trust me he does he does he does and i tell g-man i warn g-man g-man knows when to back off too when i give him those warnings like g-man you're crossing boundaries, bro. You do know you're going to get a God spank. And if you continue with this, and, and he's seen it all through the years, man, when I tell him you're going to get a God spank, and he usually does. Hey, Jason's the same way. I say, Jason, you're going to get a God spank. And if you continue with this crappy behavior, and you know what happens? He gets a fucking spank, and he gets a God spank, and he's like... All right, you're right. And then he giggles. And same goes to G-Man. They both know. They know that their sister knows the Lord. <sighs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, she really is a case study for narcissism, if there ever was anything. Like, Yeah. She's it. She should be, like, studied. In psychology classes. She almost had a psychology degree. <laughs> <laughs> Just like she almost got a GED. Oh my god. I went to community college. Probably more than most people. You know, me and the Lord, we've been best friends for millennia. There's nothing you can do about it. Me and Jesus Christ are eternally best friends, okay? So as his best friend, I just speak for him and be like, dude, you know Jesus ain't going to like that, man. So if Jesus ain't going to like that, you're going to face the consequences of your behavior. And he always does. He always does. So he's going to have to face the consequence to his behavior. But does that mean that we're in this perpetual fight in mode? No. No, because he knows I'm right. He knows I'm right. That's why he doesn't say shit, because he knows I'm right. He ain't going to. He kn Were you right when you said the N-word to him? Like eight times on his stream? I'm just, I'm just asking. He knows I'm in the right. He knows I'm in the right about this. He always will. Because he's G-Man. And now he learning, you know, he, he, he now he learning, now he learning and, and he just going to continue to learn. And I'm just going to continue to be his sister. And I'm going to continue to spank him and tell him when he's wrong, he's wrong. And he's going to be continuing like she's right. But this rumor that me and him are arguing, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We just have an interesting relationship that no one really understands except me and him. Now, I will say this live and publicly, G-Man, you really need to try need to speak to your sister and not come to my husband with your problems about me because he don't control me. Or, or, or right, G-Man, I won't let any man control me. And the fact that you assume that you could control me and manipulate me through my husband is really fucking stupid. But Wait. other than that, G what's that? I just think it's funny. This kind of shows G-Man's thought process of, like, women. You don't go directly to women. You go to their husbands. Yeah. And that kind of just shows, like, oh, I hate. I hate. You know, I mean, I'm, I, you shouldn't talk to you. I should talk to the man of the house. Yeah. Yeah, G-Man is very, very misogynistic. Very. E uh, you just need to talk to your sister and, and, and not try to, like, bring my husband into our fucking problem. Because you know what? We've been having problems long before Jason even came into the fucking picture. Shout out to the Halloween decoration that's still on the wall behind their bed yeah. from last year. <laughs> At this point, they might as well just leave it up.
we, we've been talking to each other long before Jason even came into the picture, dude. In fact, no. Nah. I know Jason longer than you, but still, man. Still. Anyway. If you have a problem, and what I'm essentially saying, G-Man, is I'm a fucking grown-ass woman. You're a fucking grown-ass man. If you have a problem with me, you come to me. You don't be coming to my man and being like, I have a problem with your wife. No, you come to me, motherfucker. You come to me. Don't be coming to someone else with your own problem with me. You come to me. Don't be coming to my husband and, and, and thinking that I, it's going to be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. That only going to piss me off even more. Like, why aren't you coming to me? You coming to another man about my problem? Why can't you deal with your problem with me to me? You know what I mean? You got to be like, mm -mm. But see, this is the relationship I have with G-Man. But see, sometimes he doesn't want to talk to me. He's too afraid to talk to me. You know what I mean? You notice the the change of uh... accent. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, I hate when she just changes accents. Then you know, it's not... <sighs> I can't wait till she yeah. goes. I don't know if she goes into her country voice, but I think she does. She goes through like several different ones. Yeehaw. I'm going to skip forward just a little bit. Okay. See if she can, I can get her to talk about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This whole video Funny is scene. about G-Man. What's that? This video is like barely even about G-Man. I know, right? <laughs> it's like the first part of whatever and then it starts getting to it. Fuck you, drag. Yeah. Yeah, she actually names the names today, folks. Tune in. That one's life destroyed, isn't it? So funny. It's so funny. What do you mean what I did to G-Man? Are you talking about me when he was living in my house? I, 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 I did a background check on him and didn't give it to the internet. Is that what you're talking about? Because I think if someone's living in your house, you have a right to give someone a background check. But see, the internet turns it around and be like, just because you gave Jimmy on a, a background check, we're going to get you a background check and expose it for the whole world to be seen. Yeah, there's a big difference. I did something because he was personally in my life. You did something because you were being a fucking asshole. What? <laughs> Is she talking about the FOIA tapes? I don't know. I think so. Or, or they're the recent thing about um, someone getting her military records. Oh, well, that's that's all public record. Well, I mean, it doesn't say anything that we wouldn't know. It's not no. like it shows her social security number. Everything's blacked out except like, for the dates that she's it. in. Hmm. Get off my channel. I hate you. She's so loving, guys. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Idiots. I don't like you either, Big Zebra. You're a fucking troublemaking piece of shit, too. Ooh. And so are you, piece of shit. You're a fucking troublemaking piece of shit, too. Shout out to Big like, Zebra. What the fuck is wrong with all you people? Like, I've seen you guys for years constantly harassing me, and you think you can come to my channel right now to harass me even further? I don't fucking think so. No, 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 no. This harassing Shanny is ending now. It's ending now. You're all being called out, Big Zebra, Tatted Jedi, Hall Bear. Oh, Ooh. Billy. Shit. Billy. Trying to get in someone's business like you think you know someone and you don't. Ooh. Billy's getting called out, guys. Everybody in the chat say ban Billy. I don't know you from Adam, dude. I know nothing about you motherfuckers. Other than you harass me and you try to get in my business all the time. Like fucking psychos.
We're all Fuck psychos. Me. Remember that name, Tatted Jedi, Hall Bear, Big Zebra, all of them stalkers, stalkers. Stalkers. Gee, man, bless you so much in Jesus Christ's name. What? Hey, honey. G-Man gave them money. Yeah. G-Man blessed us. Yeah, G-Man gave them weed money. Way to go. Gain stalkers. So, all y'all giving money to G-Man, which is probably nobody in this chat, but I know some people. GP gave him? Yep, GP gives him money. Other people give him money. And you know where that money goes? Gives them weed. Damn, you think you she would take a fucking shower by now? You'd think. Yeah. G Man blessed us. Thank you, G. Thank you, G. Thank you so much, man. You have no idea how much that's gonna help. Thank you so much. I love you, bro. See? 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 Thank you, what you guys going to do about that, man? What you guys going to do about that? Nothing. Oh, no. Oh, no. You little narrative of us fighting. Oh, no. That's gone, too. No offense, but nobody no, cares. Like, nobody I know I was gonna cares say, if you're fighting. Like, okay. Like, who cares? Yeah. I was about to say that. It's like, I don't know of anyone concerned about her and G-Man's friendship. Like, I don't like either one of them. They're both trash human beings that treat other people like garbage. Like they deserve each other. They And the thing about Shani and Rev, I don't want them to break up. They're not married, but I don't want them to break up either. I want them all three to be together because they all deserve each other. Because the last thing I want is for one of them to go and involve a third person by, can you imagine if Shani and Rev got, you know, they broke up and they each started dating other people? That's a whole other two other sets of families, possibly more kids. that are going to be negatively affected by her. Like that's I would much rather them stay together because, frankly, they're both they're both just as bad as each other. That me and Jason are getting divorced. Oh, man, that was blown up, too, in your faces. Me abusing my son. Oh man, again, that was blown up in your faces and told and, and exposed as lies. Everything yeah. you set out against me is thrown back in your face and you look like Aww. fucking moron. What's that? Damn, I, oh, I was going to say, damn, Shannon's still mad from last night. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to embarrass her that much, okay? <laughs> I was just saying the truth and she got butt hurt about it. And it's just like, Shani, I'm so sorry that you're a fucking poor excuse for a mother and you're racist and you're fat and you can't get a job. I mean, I'm just so sorry that you're just a piece of shit. Facts. Facts. Yep. All hail Jules in the chat for all that stuff that she did yesterday. Like, you kept your cool and I thought the whole thing was amazing. I was shocked that she even came into your panel to begin with. I was too. But I think I think you handled yourself well. Thanks. And the more you do it to me and others, the more they're going to see it. They all going to see it. Keep flagging my fucking videos. I don't give a fuck. I'll deal with a little yellow. I ain't breaking terms of service. I'm speaking my mind. Ugh. The fake accents. I just can't. It's a bit much, Shani. I mean, come on. You're a white woman who grew up basically in North Carolina. Just stop. Duh. No, she grew up I'm in the sorry. hood. Shut up, Toasty. You're ruining her narrative. Yeah. She has street cred, guys. Jesus. <laughs> and I'm being abused. I'm being stalked. I'm being harassed. And the more you talk about me, the more you're proving to people I'm talking the truth. 
See, the funny thing is, Shani, I don't have to really say much. Same with all these other people that are streaming you, making videos about you, doing commentary. The, the videos speak for themselves. <laughs> like We're literally playing your own words. <laughs> and by all means, like this is not a safe place. Like I'm not going to ban people. Please don't ban people or time people out because they disagree with me. People can say whatever they want, just as long as it's not a racial slur and they're not doxing anyone. I don't care what people say. This is, we're not about fifis here. Like just, but I mean, with Shani, it's like, you, you don't really have to do much. You just play her own videos against her own video. And she just completely contradicts herself because she lies so much. I honestly don't think that she remembers what she lied about to which people and what version of the story she told. And she can't keep, she can't keep it up. It's just so much easier to tell the truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, just, it's just tell the truth. Speaking well, sorry. <laughs> What's that? I just read that. It, I read um, Michael B. Betty's comments and said, "Sounds like she's speaking well. She is. She's very <laughs> fluent in it." And shout out to her. Shout out to all my whale speakers. She's so talented. Oh, she's a great content creator. I just love her so much. Mm. And she's such a good editor. Oh my <sighs> god, she is. I just, I wish I could just be like her. <laughs> We're so jealous. I'm so jealous. So jealous. I'm so jealous that. <laughs> yeah, she's bilingual. <laughs> she's bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> years and years of harassment and me not saying shit. Years and years and years and years of you trying to accuse me of this and trying to accuse me like that. You just proven scripture, right? You you're 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 the accuser of the brethren, what the Bible calls uh, accusing them day and night, and it's true, man. You fulfill prophecy, man. You fulfill the Bible. You spent your whole life trying to disprove the Bible, but yet you prove it with your own actions. I have no Boy, idea what the fuck she's talking about. Maybe if you wanted to disprove the I I don't know where that that's like a weird avenue to go down. <laughs> like either she well, I think she's high. Well, yeah, she's probably high. But oh, mommy needs her drugs, everybody. <laughs> Mommy needs her pain management. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, kid. I'm, I'm taking my weed. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. It's also funny. It's like the, the people that watch my channel, they're all different religious beliefs. Um, some atheists, some theists, like the, all different walks of life. So it's, it's bizarre to me. And same with drag and the geek room and all these other channels. It's, it's a very diverse group of people. So it's weird that, that Shani does this, uh, G man does this too, where they just assume, you know, just everybody is an atheist. <laughs> yeah. And it's just it's a weird thing. And it's like, okay, so who cares? Who cares if they're an atheist or a theist? What does that have to do with this video? Like literally nothing. It's just weird. They they just bring this up constantly and it's just it's strange to me. The Bible is untrue. You wouldn't be doing me the exact way the Bible says you would do me. Like persecuting me constantly, attacking every word and everything I do. Like, I don't know about you, but what is a woman cooking for her family such a big, giant, fucking horrible thing to you? Well, how is that bothering you? How is that such a threat to society, me cooking a meal for my my family? Oop, she's talking about us. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Bruh, like... If you are sitting at an office chair, on an office chair, at your stove, because you're too lazy to stand up, and then you take piles of aluminum foil and you're cutting them in half with a steak knife on your glass cooktop stove, 
people are probably going to have an opinion about that. If you had just stuck with the cooking instead of the ranting and the slandering, we would not be doing this, this stream right now. Just saying. You think people aren't going to be stupid and, and, and not see that? You think people aren't going to see that? That you are doing literally nothing but harassing a woman just for cooking for her family? You think they ain't going to see that and be like, wait, I thought she was the bad guy. Oh, wait, they're the ones who harassing. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, uh, no, nah. I've been silent. I've been doing my own thing, man. Really? She's been doing her own thing, y'all. She totally didn't make a video about ALR like two days ago or ranting or and attack weird. attacking Chantal in like seven videos last week. That totally didn't happen. Um, I would like to just point this out while we're talking about it. Uh, Shani has this really weird thing with Amberlynn Reed and Becky for some reason. Um, I've heard her say that she um, will come over and have a threesome with them and how she thinks Becky is so hot and that they were talking about something and she said that she would get Amberlynn pregnant. Okay. Now keep that in what? mind. Yeah, it's fucking weird. I don't know. And then today she was crying on camera and was like, I'll be your mommy. I'll be your mommy. We can talk about our feelings together and no one will ever know. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck are you on? Sorry. That's weird. It is like fucking I, weird. By the time you're 37 and you've already had two children, I would assume she knows how kids are made. Well, so... the, the other thing is, is that she, like, talks about how people sexually harass her. Like, I don't think fucking Amberlynn Reed wants you to talk about her in that way. Right. Uh, like, like, if someone went and talked about you that way, you'd be pissed off. Well, right. And she's talking about Amberlynn Reed's um, significant other. It's like, that's, it's disrespectful. <laughs> it's gross. It's. You know, but she did this to Missy Ann to too. Yeah, well, she talks about Missy Ann. I don't know if it's this video. I can't remember. Hmm. You had to keep bringing in my kids. You had to keep bringing in my kids. You had to keep bringing in my kids. Like it's any of your fucking business what's going on behind my doors. Um, it is my fucking business, bitch. When you put it on the internet and I see that you're fucking and neglecting it and saying nasty shit to your kids, guess what? It's my business now. And we don't bring up your kids. We bring up your parenting. Big fucking right. difference. Right. You know, Shani, there's so many times where you have, you have violated your child's privacy and when I have talked about it in a video or, or I've mentioned it on a panel, I have been very careful not to use their names, uh, not to talk about. And there's, there's times where I've used clips of your videos in, in my videos. And I have, I have literally cut out sections and not included them in the video because you are using your son's name or you're talking about them in a derogatory way and you're making fun of them or you're, you know, telling them to go, you know, go fuck themselves or whatever. It's like you were the one that brings your kids up all the time. You were literally just on your channel. What a couple months ago talking about your son's sexuality. Like, are you kidding me? That is not of anyone's business. We would not know anything about that if it hadn't come out of your mouth. When it's not, oh uh, no, my 14 year old comes out and says nothing's happening. Oh uh, no, that ruins your fucking narrative, doesn't it? Your little narrative you've been saying to people for months. For months. Your little narrative's ruined. Now you gotta move the goalposts. Oh, oh, he's just saying that because she made him. She, she, he, he's just saying that because he's not telling the truth. He, he, he's lying. Really? Really? Now he's lying. Yeah, I thought Michael you be petty. He did. He said 
that her son walks around the house like he owns the place. Yeah. He's been really mean to those kids. He doesn't like the fucking kids. He thinks that they're a fucking burden. Just like how Shandy said they're a financial burden, which I don't know why the fuck you refer to your kids as that. Um, they're a fine, fine, that's a big responsibility financially. Um, but it's just like, she just sets herself up to fail at everything because of the shit that comes out of her mouth. And it's just like, oh, we moved the goalpost. No, actually, you moved the goalpost. You try to use your kids as meat shields um, to get people to feel bad for you. And guess what? It backfired because nobody believes you. Exactly. No one sided with you. The only people that sided with you to hate to tell you this, Shani, are trolls that are fucking playing you. So, whatever. Good point. This is also true. There was a time, um, I believe it was right after the Geek Room intervie- interviewed Chris, her ex-husband, which is her, her second husband, and he was talking about how she was physically abusive with him, and she ended up getting arrested because she physically attacked her brother-in-law, and she, you know, got in trouble and stuff, and CPS got involved because of that as well. And she, when she saw Chris being interviewed on the geek room, it was around that time. And she didn't show them on camera, but literally stuck a microphone in both of the boys faces and was like, tell them, you know, basically how terrible Chris was to you. Tell them how he left you and abandoned you. I mean, it was the most abusive thing I have ever seen in my life, but it's just like, she keeps, making it worse. (laughs) Like every time I think she has reached the point where she has become so abusive, I can't imagine she'd get worse. She does something worse. Yeah. I also think that Reb is jealous because he, he can have kids, but he cannot have kids with Shani because Shani can't have kids anymore. Um, So I think he feels some type of way about that still. Um, I think he's really bitter about it. So even if he had a kid, he would, like, try to still fight for her attention. I agree. He likes to play daddy, but his, it doesn't doesn't actually do what a father needs to do for their kids. Yeah, I think he likes the idea of being a dad, mm-hmm. but I don't think that he knows what that is. And he's so selfish and spoiled that he's not, he just doesn't care. It's all about him. Um. But yeah, Lady Starfar, that's when um, she attacked the brother-in-law with the axe. Yep. And she got arrested. And I think they took her kids away for a short amount of time because she showed up at her uh, mom's house uh, without the kids um, where she had just gotten out of the jail. And she told her parents, I don't, you know, they took my kids. I don't know where they are. And so they had to go and, you know, she had to go get the kids back again. So Yeah, so the whole time that she's sitting here talking about how she's such a great mother, she has lost her kids multiple times. Like, there's a reason why CPS is a regular visitor checking up on them all the time. Not to mention the fact that she keeps breaking the law and getting, like, I can't even remember all the times that she's been arrested for assault. (laughs) It's like she's been arrested in almost every state she's ever lived in. I'm not even kidding. And each time it's probation and classes and court ordered therapy and all that stuff. And it's just like, she is not the one to be scolding other people about this. Oh, him, but yeah, his word doesn't mean anything. Fuck you. With your stupid little false outrage and bullshit lies. Fuck you. You want to keep coming at people all the time? Fuck you. You want to keep lying about them? Fuck you. You want to lie about me? Fuck you. Simple as that. I don't need to be lied about all the time. Why should I be lied about all the time? For I'm still waiting. <laughs> I don't know about you, Jules, but she keeps saying that we lie about her. I speak facts and facts only. <laughs> That's right. 
But she has yet to like point to one thing that we lie about. She can't because <laughs> we play her own videos and it's her mouth that says it. <laughs> so stupid. What? That wasn't me. Mm hmm. It's deep faked. That's, that's going to be the next thing, right? That was photoshopped. <laughs> that was photoshopped. They cut it up to make me say that. That's fake. That's fake. For what? What did I do to any of you guys? I've done jack shit to any of you guys. But yet you want to continue to lie. I need the views. I need to find someone that's really easy that people might think it's true. So so I got to continue to lie about this uh, person and, and, and try to destroy this person's life. Because... Because I need the views. I need the validation. Me, me, me. They're not coming to your channel for you. They're coming to your channel for, for me. Okay? Because you made me into someone I'm not. And now people are beginning to <laughs> I love to when she it. stares. <laughs> she like stops for a second. Like, hold on. Let me, re me reboot for a second. Mm -hmm. It's like her brain's like, oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Like, damn, speed up. Oh, my goodness. She she really thought that she, she really got us there, right? Oh, she she really got us, guys. Oh, no. How are we ever no. going to recover? Oh, no. <laughs> and it scares the living crap out of you. So you guys have to work overtime. Also, sorry, hide one more time. Freaking lies, and it's not working very I would like to say that I went to sleep last night, slept great. I woke up fine. It wasn't mad, wasn't triggered. I mean, I don't know about you, Toasty. I mean, you didn't, like, do a stream at 3 in the morning? Oh, fuck. Uh, no. Yeah. I slept great, too. That's, I don't know. Unbought, you know, that's what not triggered people do, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't make streams at 4 in the morning and scream on a school night when our kids are trying to sleep. So, I don't know. I slept great. Very well. It's kind of imploding at this point. To a big giant explosion where people are like, wow. Wow. <laughs> My cat's purring in the mic, sorry. I keep giving a reaction. Is this why they do that? Amy doll, you are the most fullest fucking full of shit human being ever. I keep giving a reaction. I haven't been given a reaction for months and they still for months and they still talking about me. Really? So all those Chantal videos and the ALRL video and the videos that you've been putting out that are just drama, 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 ranting, actually naming people names. That that none of that happened? Am I You know, she means bad with time. A year, a week ago, a day ago. Yeah. Same shit. Yeah, if it happened an hour ago, that means it happened five years ago, folks. Exactly. It no longer applies. Right. What the fuck you talking about, Amy Doll, saying if I keep giving a reaction, they keep doing it? What the fuck you talking about? Even when I wasn't reacting, they were continuing to harass me. You full of shit, you stupid fucking lying bitch. Get the fuck off my channel. So triggered. Wow. Stupid bitch. They keep coming after me even if I don't give a reaction. I was doing cooking videos. How is that me reacting to them, you stupid fucking bitch? I was making videos doing video games. How is that me reacting to them? I was So this is this is a typical Shani tactic. On her main channel, she was doing cooking videos. But it was after she did a whole bunch of videos going after Chantal. And also she said some stuff about some other content creators as well. Even going after like mentioning their kids and stuff. Okay. So this is what she does. She kicks the hornet's nest and then she'll do like a coloring video or a gaming stream. And when people come in and ask her about what she just said 24 to 48 hours before, then she plays the victim. So the whole time she was doing her cooking videos, she was over on her other channel called Stoner Shanny, making all kinds of slanderous statements about Missy Ann, making statements about Chantal, making statements about a whole bunch of other people. So you got caught.
react in them at all. Stupid fucking bitch. Try to be fucking stupid to me. Try to act stupid to me. Uh-uh, it ain't gonna fucking work like that. Ain't gonna work like that. Coming to me saying they're gonna stop if I stop reacting. Nah, 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 nah. You just want me to stop saying what I have to say. That's what it is. Because people are beginning to catch on. So you got to create a troll account and be like, hey, you know what? They only react because you react. No, nah, they react because they can't help themselves but to bully me. She's being bullied. Oh, no. 37-year-old woman is being bullied. Really? Hey, guys, that's what great hack. Log the fuck off, bitch. <laughs> yep. There's a, there's a little X there. Click it. Bye. Leave. Because if you left, there'd be no content, right? But she can't help herself. Because she'd rather be online than have a healthier mental health situation going on. Situation, everything and whatnot. Don't bullshit me. Don't bullshit the audience. They too smart for that. My audience, they're actually intelligent. They're not stupid, simple-minded folks like you guys. Girl, your audience is trolls. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you. It's trolls and people who hate watch you. And then there's ref. But then there's ref. That's <laughs> that's your audience. They're they're watching the dumpster fire. Okay. <laughs> Nobody wants to be your friend because you turn on people. Eyes. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. You just mad. Mm -mm. You just mad. Be mad. Mm -mm. Be just mad. mad haters. You just mad haters. You're <laughs> mad because y'all proved her wrong, girl. Mmm. Be sad. Cry even. Cry. Cry. I don't care. I hope you're crying. I hope you're crying in your pillow. I hope you're I hope you're scared off. Oh no, Jules, are you crying in your pillow? I am crying in my pillow. <laughs> oh, I'm crying in her pillow. Oh. I'm crying oh. in my toaster. Oh. We're so sad. She owned us, guys. She got us, guys. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Off your butt like oh no my lies they're finally being exposed people are gonna know people are gonna know i'm a liar and everything i said was untrue i no maybe That's exactly so what i said how did she know that how did she fucking know <laughs> fuck i mean <laughs> yes, sometimes you know? Sometimes I don't even know what to say because it's just, it's just too much. <laughs> it's know, just she, too much. Sometimes, you know, people are a little too crazy. Mm hmm Maybe you should have told the truth. Maybe you shouldn't have been speculating on a motherfucker and trying to use your speculations as the truth. I'm Ever pretty convinced she doesn't oh, know what she's talking about. You guys don't know what was that? I'm convinced, like she just doesn't even know what she's saying, and so she just says a bunch of words and hopes it makes sense. Yeah, it's word salad. And if you notice, she repeats herself a lot. Like when she gets on a a little little rant that she figures out that she wants to say, she'll just repeat it over and over again with like different inflections in her voice. Yeah, she's stupid. 
to do but to act like even more jackasses and try to make people even more fucking bad but by, by saying even more mean-spirited names to them and trying to label them over things and taking videos out of context to try to prove all you're doing is trying to work overtime and here's the thing about that so i have always told Every single person that has ever come to my channel, if you think something's taken out of context, you let me know which clip that you want to see, and I will send you the entire stream unedited, and you can make up your own mind. Not once has anyone ever come back to me and been like, you took that out of context, because I'm very careful about how I clip things in my videos. So once again, it's just like, okay, give me an example of where I've taken something out of context. Because me thinks she can't do that. Mm -mm. I'm trying to expose someone who's done absolutely jack shit nothing. Like you could even be like, but you got arrested. Yeah, and all my cases were dismissed and. And that's a lie. <laughs> Survey says <laughs> that's a lie. Girl, you pled guilty. You talked about it on a live stream. I have the clip. You said, quote, I pled guilty because I just wanted it to go away. And then because of that, you had a, like a year and change of probation. You had, I will not beat my husband classes. Oh, that's my you had, classes. <laughs> I know, right? It's my faith, right? Uh, court appointed group therapy. She had to get a psyche valve. Like she had to get all this stuff. CPS was involved, all of that. That's because you pled guilty. And then after you finished all the things that they said you had to do, then you are no longer being punished, but you still pled guilty. It doesn't mean that you're all of a sudden innocent when you finish your punishment. Like, that's not how any of that works. Also, take your screenshots if you want. Oh my god, that's a great one. She's yeah. staring into our souls. And... What does that mean if they're dismissed? It means not guilty, motherfucker. It means not guilty. Nope. Sorry, wrong again. The latest thing that was dismissed, it was because of COVID. And there was quite a few charges that Rev had dismissed because of COVID. Because in the state of Colorado, and you can look this up, it was so bad during the time that they were supposed to be going to court that any of anybody who had any like minor things like traffic violations, just things that were very low, low crime kind of things, they basically dismissed all of that. And they were only going to deal with people who had, you know, felonies or had major things went on, which is why all of those lesser charges stemming from the hit and run were thrown out because because of COVID and then he, but he still had to deal with the lawyer and the judge for the reckless driving hit and run the 12 points on his license, all that stuff that did not get dismissed because he still had to go and face that. That's why. It means that the case has been dismissed. You know what I mean? Well, you know what I mean? It means dismissed. It means they didn't find grounds of guilt. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? What is that? I don't know. No, you gotta keep playing the FOIA tape that you illegally play over and over again. Keep keep playing it. Oh, this is proof this happened. Even though it was dismissed in court. Come on, man. 
Come on, you just mad, little boy. You just mad, little boy. Poor little boy, all mad. Me, 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 me. Poor little boy, all mad. Be mad, little boy. Be mad, you little lying Pinocchio boy. Who is she talking about now? Uh, so probably somebody in the chat. I guess. It's like weird. You little Pinocchio boy. You little Pinocchio boy. Be mad. Keep bitching. Keep being mad. Keep doing slander on the people. Keep lying about people. They see in it. Yeah, exactly. It's it's not illegal. <laughs> like it's it's public records. I didn't do it. Somebody else did it. And the reason why they did it is because during that time she was claiming that Life of a Free Spirit had sent a quote black group of black men to jump her. We all knew it was bullshit, but we had no way of knowing what actually happened. She escalated by tagging people on Twitter, threatening to sue them, all this made threats and all this stuff. And so somebody did the FOIA tapes and that's why we have them. And it proved that she was not only a liar, but also a, an abuser. She's a domestic abuser. Now, they seeing it now. They seeing it now. I ain't screaming. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. <laughs> Lun. What the fuck are you talking about <laughs> the top of her loud. <laughs> as top of what does she say? As top as I loud or something? As top as I loud. <laughs> yes. Yes, I remember that. Yes, she did. Her arm was in a sling in that video because she had, the police report said that she was resisting arrest and she actually threw her body weight on her left side and threw herself down on the ground to get out of the handcuffs. Meanwhile, Rev is, you know, trying to fight a cop with his wrist or something. Stupid bitch. And look at this racist right here, man. They're being racist now and saying the N-word in my chat while trying to claim that I'm the racist one, right? Uh-huh. 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 Look at this. Look at this. Look at these racists. See, they tried to peg me as a racist, too, when they're the true racist ones. They'll drop the end bond whenever they feel like it. <sighs> wow. Yep. Don't think we need to go over that again. You're a racist, bitch. She is racist. Yep. I know, I know right? <laughs> like... I have an entire file of all the times that she has said um, an indigenous slur, a slur against black people, um, talked about immigrants, Hispanics, Asians. She's an equal opportunity racist. Yup, they want to they want to be freaking racist. They think it's grand to be racist. They think it's grand to pick on the mentally ill. They think it's they think it's grand to pick on children, to abuse children. They even abuse children, man. Damn, that sounds like slander to me. Yeah, it does. Yeah, unless she's looking in the mirror and talking to herself, then it would not be slander, I guess. You know, we should uh we should sue her. Oh, shit. Yeah. Dis dis well, I should say how Cease. she says it. And, and what did you say? Cease and assist? Cease and dismiss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send her a... Dismiss. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Indigo to send her a cease and dismiss. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. They even abuse kids. It's funny to them, man. It's funny. Oh no, you don't like this, do you? What's getting you mad? You all triggered. You all triggered. You coming in my room yelling and screaming, trying to accuse me some more. Y'all triggered. You triggered. You triggered that I call you a liar. You triggered. You triggered. Oh my gosh, I'm so triggered. I'm going to start screaming because I'm so triggered. Scream. And then I'm going to cry my pillow. Because she totally pwned us. We got pwned. Mm -hmm. Can you feel the burn, everybody? She's totally pwning us right now. Oh, poor baby. Be triggered. Be triggered. I hope you're triggered. I hope I ruin your whole fucking day. I hope I ruin your whole month, frankly. I hope I ruin your whole year. Good. You deserve it. I think we were you're in her terrible. whole day. And I yeah. Uh, Jules, you are the one who ruined her day, and it was delicious. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a bad bitch. So. Mm -hmm. This is just hilarious to me. This whole thing is just like, it's so funny. Ruined years of my life. Years of my life. Damn, we ruined years? Hmm. Be mad. Be big mad. I like how she stole that from me. Yeah. I was like... Damn. Shut up, Boomer. Stop using my fucking language. God. <laughs> Fuck. You sound like you're trying to be like the cool kids in school. Like, what's up, yo? That, that shit's that shit lit. Yo, yo. Low key. Yeah, low key, high key, dog. That's what she sounds like <laughs> she's trying to do. Like, I'm a fit in with the kids. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Comment of the day. This is, this is what you call uh, G-man language. It's very rare. Very, dead ass. very rare. Don't make fun of me for saying dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, be fellow kids. Mad. <laughs> be mad. Be a stalker. Be fucking weird. Be stalking. Stalking. You pick on children. You call children liars. You call children liars. Look at you. Look at you. Hiding behind a fucking fat fucking Yoshi. Look oh, at it's you. Me. Oh, it was it. <laughs> it's about me, guys. <laughs> Ooh, you're famous. Guys, what did I do to become famous? Okay, guys, I'm hiding behind a fat Yoshi. I don't know what else to say than um, thank you for all my supporters. Uh, we shall rise. Okay, yes. I'm just playing. Here, here. With your fucking fake ass voice. Y'all fake. My, everything about you is. I don't know how my uh, voice is fake. Oop, Jules. What? You know you have a fake voice. Oh, fuck. You know you're I really like. Hi, my name is Jules. Hi, my <laughs> name is Jules. What's going on? This is my real voice. This is my real voice. Yeah. What's up, Shirley? What's up, bitches? This is my real voice. Damn. That bitch is fat as fuck. That's a big <laughs> ass bitch. She thick. Fake. You're not even a real friend. You're just some loser on the internet who's looking for attention <laughs> probably because mommy and daddy never fucking loved you. Oh. Wait, wait, pause it, pause it. Pause it. All pause it. <laughs> Shani, according to your logic, at least my mom didn't try to drown me. Oh. Damn. That's wrong. That's wrong. Damn, I think Shani's mad that I had two loving parents and she didn't. Oh. Sorry about your luck, hater. Moving right along. All this validation and attention from people by lying about others. Everyone knows that you're a stalker. You coming to my channel. I ain't coming to yours. 
You see the difference? You coming to my channel and harass me she constantly. She literally came to my channel. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. She, she literally really... came to my channel. And you know she was watching because the oh, second yeah. that you put the thing out, she was right She was right in there. She was the first person in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You notice how she'll make comments about something drag says or TGR or something. You know that she's watching all of this. Mm -hmm. She can't help herself. And lie about me. Be big mad. Be big mad. Keep harassing my son, stupid psycho bitch. Ooh, mad. The word I mad should have been on that bingo card today, folks. Because, <sighs> wow. Well, I, I would like to know how I'm harassing her son. I have, don't talk about her son. Yeah. Nobody talks about him but her. And that's well, the thing. It's like she chooses to put them on camera and then all of these channels that review her choose to not show that on their show. Well, she keeps saying I call her son a liar. I never called your son a liar. I think that you're really confused and delusional that you missed the point that we made all together is that your son is telling you something, but in reality, he doesn't know what a normal functioning relationship is because you have not given that to him. So when he says things on camera, like he tried to say to me, they're irrelevant and invalid because you're a shitty person at the end of the day. And you manipulate your children. So... And try to fuck with, fuck with my husband, you fucking whore! Come on, Who? I'm not, I'm not, oh I'm not God. kidding, man. I'm your whore, a whore. I she keeps thinking I want to fuck with Jason. Man, you're so fucking insecure. Mm -hmm. Sorry about it. Yeah, that says a lot about you, Shani. Wow. Yikes. Fucking done with you people. I'm done, man. I'm done. I ain't doing it no more. Nah, you want to keep coming at me? I'm going to keep exposing. Yep, she sure enough did defend Rick Productions. <clears throat> and if you guys don't know who that is, um, after this stream ends, watch the Geek Room uh, because they're going over this part. But Rick Productions is a guy, he is, um, he is open about all the things I'm about to say. He has said them publicly on his streams and other people's streams multiple times. He is HIV positive, yet he is on Tinder, but does not disclose that to the people that he's meeting up on there. Not to mention the fact that he has admitted to watching CP, and I'm not going to say what that means. You can figure it out. And her hu and his husband also watched CP, and they would watch CP together while they were intimate. And and his husband is currently in prison for a lot of stuff pertaining to CP. So this is the person that she was defending today. Sorry, but mm. exposing you. You keep coming at me, I'll keep exposing you. you. Keep coming at me, I'll keep exposing you. I have no problem with doing this. Megan's the shit, man. I love Megan Hiltz. Megan, she. Shout out to Megan. Don't know if you're a troll or you're just really dumb. Either way, shout out. <laughs> Yay. Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that. I saw her on emo stream the other day. Mm hmm. She's got to be trolling the yeah. way that she was acting. I think she's a troll. So that's that's extra hilarious I'm that Shani thinks. <laughs> yeah. But somehow she got mods on Emo's channel and Shani's channel, which I think is hilarious. She, she helps Emo too, man. And she loves on Emo, which is awesome. Megan's an anti-bully. 
and she's awesome and I'm totally for the anti-bullies because it comes to a point where you get bullied to a point where you can't take it anymore. You're going to get people killed by this shit. You guys need to quit cut this shit out what you're doing to people and you're not only doing it to me you're doing it to other people man so don't even come to me man don't come to me because people are going to keep speaking out man and i'm going to encourage people to keep speaking out over the abuses that you do to them i'm going to keep doing it man i'm going to keep encouraging them i ain't stopping man this ain't going to stop oh how many times does she have to say the word man This ain't going to stop. We're going to cut this bullying out, man. This is going to stop. YouTube needs to hear this. Keep flagging my channel, too. That's a good thing. I want YouTube to hear this. I want YouTube to know what the hell's going on on this fucking channel. And what... Okay. So I don't think she realizes that um, there's this thing called an algorithm. That's kind of a big deal on YouTube. And when you say certain words, which is why earlier I used initials and abbreviations, when you say certain words, little banners pop up on underneath your screen. When you turn, talk about a certain type of uh, sickness that people are dealing with right now, there's all kinds of things that happen when you say certain words. And I think what's happening is because she's monetized, and the algorithms are catching certain things that she's saying. And so she's getting those emails from YouTube saying, you know, your stream has to be 18 and up and stuff like that. Because if it was actual people like striking her channel, then she would get an email saying who was striking it. Like she would actually have a name of the person who was doing it. But even if she is getting flagged, it's like, Again, she kicks a hornet's nest by going after Kiwi Farms, going after all these other communities, and then she expects them not to respond. <laughs> like, you're just dumb at this point. Like, why would you do that? You're dumb. What's going on on their channels? They need to know what's going on. They need to know that terms of service is being broken horribly. And people are being harassed. Children are being harassed. Hide your kids, hide your wife. These are grown adults picking on a child and picking on mentally ill people. Grown adults who should know better because they're apparently doctors and have medical degrees. But they're being abusive toward Ma people. Dr. Jules. I am a Dr. Jules now. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Can you change your name to that? Yeah, hold on. Give me a second. Let me do it. <laughs> I'm going to change my name to Dr. Damn. Dr. Burn Toast. There you go. <laughs> wow, we like, are what? now professional. Yes. Professionals now. Thank you. Mm hmm. And it took us a minute to figure this out. Yep. Their medical fucking licenses stripped away for doing this to people. Go fuck yourself, tatted atheist. Mind your fucking business. I can be on Billy. YouTube as long as I want. Mm -hmm. You know what? Oh, she doesn't like you anymore, Billy. Sad. Guess she doesn't want those uh those chickens with four wings. She's gonna miss out. She's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Sorry. Hashtag buck Billy. I I buck get Billy. paid. Guess what? Guess what? CPS considers this a job employment. Guess guess what? The state considers it. You know, the, the you know, the, the welfare place. Guess what? They consider this a job employment. So go kiss my ass. I'm just I don't doing know. My I job. don't collect welfare. <laughs> <laughs> so um, <clears throat> a job is where you actually get paid. So yeah. she's still wondering when she's going to get paid from YouTube. They haven't paid her yet. You know why? Because she hasn't set up her AdSense account yet. Uh, toasty. Yeah. Come on. She's not that smart. I know. That's just 
that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work, you know, to click a button and type in your first and last name and address. My gosh, we can't expect her to do that. Well, she can't put in Egroff because her legal last name is Dornbush. So that's right. I, I have a theory about why she won't do that, but I will keep it to myself right now. <laughs> mm. I have a problem with it. You can kiss my big old dairy air and remember to go deep in that shit. No, I like that. You. Ugh. Gross. No You're comment. All weird. That was a weird insult. I guess. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. I do make money. What are you going to do about it? You going to cry? You going to complain? You're, you're going to complain? We're going to cry, Jules. I'm crying. I'm crying. Guess what, Manny? I make money, too, by going to work. Ha, 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 ha. Same. Damn. Yeah. It must suck. We do things like get in cars and drive to a building where we work. Damn. I know. Why are we just so advanced? Shani should get on our level. Oh, poor you. Complain. I don't care. Keep flagging. I'll keep having YouTube look at it and be like, oh, fine. And then put it back up in the green. That's what I'll keep doing. Because you just wasting everyone's and yourself time. Because you're just so hell-bent on trying to make me look bad. Wow, that is not a very flattering angle. That's number one. Number two. <laughs> like, who cares? She keeps saying that she doesn't care, but she keeps making videos about it. I mean, look how long this video is. It's two hours and 35 minutes and four she seconds. totally not bothered. Are you kidding <laughs> Totally, me? totally doesn't care at all. Like the amount of energy you guys waste and spend on trying to hurt someone when you could be actually doing something good for the community. You could actually be going after people that need to be gone after. Ooh. So people in the chat who um, had that discussion with me the other day about that other certain person that had the exact same argument. It's really funny. It's really funny how I watch a video of someone enabling Shani's behavior and they'll they'll actually say a specific set of things and then Shani repeats it verbatim. Isn't that interesting? That's really that's really interesting to me. Actually do something with a purpose instead of destroying a woman's life because you just hear someone that should be destroyed for some fucking weird reason. Someone tells you she's abusive and you believe you run with it because you're dumb fucking idiots. Exactly. Like I, these lulz cows, they don't understand the meaning of time management. Like it's not our problem that you don't know how to manage your time well. Because there are people every day that have regular jobs, families, a social life, pets, other th responsibilities they have, and yet they still have a couple hours here, a couple hours there to do a hobby, whatever that hobby is. And the people that make YouTube videos, for the most part, do this as a hobby. This is my hobby. So... Yeah, it's just, it's amazing to me that they, because their life is nothing but YouTube, they think that if you're on YouTube, that that's also your life. When in reality, it's like a single digit percentage of my day.
and this is what makes you even more stupid, is the people who you claim I'm abusing, they come out and say I'm not abusing. And then you go move the goalposts and be like, they're just lying and covering for her. Why would they lie and cover for me if they don't have to? Hmm. Thoughts, Jules? Um, because you probably get slappy with them. Yep. Because you're fucking yep. abusive. Mm hmm Like, it's a thing that victims of domestic violence or victims of abuse will absolutely lie to cover up what happens. Like, <laughs> that's absolutely what happens nine times out of ten. Wow. Wow. See, you guys making no sense now. All you're doing is moving the goalposts and hoping hoping someone believes your stupid asses. But you know what? The more times goes by, the more people aren't going to believe you. People are seeing it. They're seeing through your bullshit. They are. Okay? You may have your 200 fucking stupid people who validate you every day. But trust me, everyone around... They see it. They see it. Because they know I've been trying. They know I've been working really hard to entertain folks. They know. I think they it's know. Funny They've seen it. That she really is this delusional to yeah. think that people like are going to come up and be like, yeah, I agree with you. And I'm totally being 100% serious. But isn't it weird also that she's supposed to be working toward like getting a job and cleaning up her apartment and having better hygiene and spending more time with her kids, like all of the adulting things that you're supposed to be doing. But instead, what is she, what, what, what came out of her mouth? Oh, I'm working hard to entertain you. What? Yeah. Literally, and like I told you, both of our videos or streams are doing better than her streams. And it's I think it's mainly because people don't want to watch her live because she blocks everybody. So no one can give their opinion in the chat. Well, like I said it, earlier, like I get there's trolls and everything, but like even people with like innocent comments that aren't directed like they aren't in her favor, she'll block them. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. If you're not kissing her ass, you're going to get blocked. And she's going to rant about how you're a loser with no life. And then she like ascribes all these things to you that may or may not even be true. <clears throat> but I, like I said earlier, and I, I'm assuming I'm speaking for Joel's too. Like we don't block people on our channels just because they disagree with us. That's stupid. Yep. If you ban people all the time, you will have nobody watching you. Because the whole point of having a chat is for to give people a place to actually give their opinion. <laughs> and they know that I'm going to continue to do it. You're losing and you don't even know it. You losing. But you know what? Pride does come before the fall. Oof. You see this? Shani loves to use the N-word and she also abuses Rev and her own children. They keep doing this over and over again and passing this along to people on every channel. And uh, fucking assholes believe it. A lot of people are starting to see it. Yeah, and they're going to continue to see it. And there's nothing you guys can do to stop this. Because you know what? The truth will always be the thing that sets everyone free. The truth will always come out at the end of the day. The truth. Not your fabricated lies, but the truth. Okay? If, my, if one family member and another family member is saying, I'm not this way... 
Who do you think people are going to believe? People who don't even know me? I don't know you idiots. I don't know you. You're just slandering me. What's that? Let me have video proof that she's racist. I don't know why she keeps thinking that's slander. Yeah. Video proof. We have tweets, community post tabs. Like, Guys, like we have how a can ridiculous she be amount. Racist? <laughs> she has a black cousin. That's right. Have you seen her wrist? Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. Now she's going to be saying, oh, I have an Asian cousin. I have a fucking Spanish cousin. Mike. And then the fucking native thing. I know we talked about that, but. Mm, yeah. Jesus. She's just full of it, isn't she? Mm-hmm. You're not. No, you're not. <gasps> yeah, Yato. Um, even when she was talking about Callie, the life of a free spirit, I think she 100% crossed the line when she said that she was a slave master. Like, why the fuck is she even comparing her to that? Yeah. Like, there's a reason why Shanna used that particular set of words. Like, let's just, let's just be real. Mm-hmm. Yes, apparently. So she says. Todd is hot on the trail on that. <laughs> the fucking wrist. <laughs> You're going to see it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do when it finally comes out? What are you going to do when there's nothing you can do to stop this? What are you going to do? How are you going to handle yourself? I bet you won't be able to handle yourself. Yeah, she saves up her G's for a certain word that she prefers to use. Let's just be honest. You ain't going to be able to handle yourself. You can't even handle this right now. You don't know what to do. You just keep doubling down. When what you should be doing is just saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I acted like an idiot. I said bad things about someone that I shouldn't have. But you can't because you've been doing this for years. You've been doing this to me for years. So you have to keep up with the narrative. You have to keep up the narrative. Your narrative, did you know CPS has always comes out to her house? That's your narrative as me being a bad mom. Without even putting in, we do mass calls on this girl, so CPS has no choice but to come out to her house. <laughs> That's our new thing now. Yeah. We all, apparently, everybody in the chat, everybody who's going to listen to this in the replay, we all apparently mass call CPS on her every single day. Sure. I don't have time for that. I work. I don't either. I, I've never called CPS on anyone ever. IRL or YouTube. Like, I've just never done that. And anybody who knows me knows I'm not going to be calling cops on anybody. Like, that's, no, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't I don't want to deal with any of that. So I don't know who's calling. More than likely, it's her neighbors. Can you imagine her screaming at four o'clock in the morning like that? I imagine her wow. next door neighbors are probably calling the rental office. Or it's the guys. the times where her kids are doing like Zoom call for school. And her teachers are hearing her scream in the background doing her streams during the day. Like it could, it's more than likely somebody in their life that's doing it. Somebody connected to their real life. Some bother and harass her. You don't put, you don't put that in. 
that you guys are the one making the calls, no one else. You think if my kids were abused, the school would catch on or something, someone, something, someone. It's my understanding that when you make an anonymous call to CPS, they're not going to just, they don't, it's anonymous. Like they're not going to tell the person, oh yeah, this person from this YouTube channel called. Like that's not a thing. No, 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 no. The mess up thing is they ain't even funny. They think they are so clever and they aren't at all. No, they're not. If they're running scared. They should. Why are you saying I have poor hygiene, Mr. Poopy Butthole? She's an idiot. Oh my gosh. Do you want me to skip forward or do you want to play something else? Um, I'm trying to think what um the next video. Are you playing the um I forgot what it's called, but you know what I, you know what video I'm talking about. The one before this? Yeah. Okay. I see. If y'all hear weird noises in the background, it's my dog snoring. He's super loud tonight, apparently. <laughs> Yay. Um, let's see. Sorry. I'm, Whoa. That I was really loud. Trying. What was loud? Oh, I was playing some. There's a stupid like thing on here. Hold on. Okay. So this is the one that she did before the one we just watched. That's yeah. Fine. <clears throat> okay. Adults. Mm. You can probably skip a little forward because I think she just mumbles. Yeah. Leave us alone. And you continue to to cross boundaries that shouldn't be even crossed. Because you don't really know how to be adults. You don't know how, how to really respect people's boundaries. You just want to continue to cross them over and over again. And trust me, the legal world is seeing this. The outside internet world is seeing it. Okay, you may have a group of 300 something people that just keep leering in and, and enabling you in your abuse toward people and families. But there are people who are seeing it. Okay. You can keep trying to subscribe to me and unsubscribe to me, making it seem that there aren't anyone who supports me. You can keep doing that. What? Yeah. I don't know what she's talking about. She probably I don't know what she's talking about either. Subscribers. She's probably losing subscribers since the whole sun thing happened. Oh, yeah. So she thinks people are trolling her by unfollowing her. No, there was a lot of people that got pissed off about that. I mean, understandable. So. All you want. But I know there's people supporting me, and I'm going to keep saying something until you guys are gone. Until something is done. Until this bullying on the internet is gone. Okay, you can keep flagging my channel after flagging my channel. But I'm hopefully YouTube will get sick of manually seeing these videos of me speaking about how you're bullying me. And, and now you're going to bully my child. Because he said, please leave us alone. My mom isn't abusing us. So your excuse of leave us alone, my mom isn't abusing us, is my son normalizes abuse. I don't even hit my kids. I barely raise my voice at them. Mm. Lie detector determines that's a lie, too. That's a lie. Hmm. Isn't it sad that she doesn't realize the emotional abuse that she is causing her children? That is 
really fucking sad that she thinks that unless she's hitting them, that it's not abuse. Emotional abuse lasts a long time, way longer than scars. I'm just saying. But yet I'm abusive. I'm abusive because you say so. Because the internet says so, I'm abusive. And then you completely invalidate what my son says so you can continue on your onslaught of attacking people, including my children. I don't care if my subscribers go down. You know, if, if you're actually a true subscriber, if you're a true human being, you would care. You would care that these people are bullying a teenager while trying to make themselves as this moral high ground. Calling a teenager a liar after he pleaded with the internet. And, 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 and actually, it took a lot. Yeah. So here's the thing. Not too fond of Nick's. However, what she said about his kid, way out of line. Like, I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just being honest here. Like that was fucked up. Like really, really fucked up. Oh, I agree with you. A lot of court courage for that kid to do. A lot of courage for that kid to do. Yep. And, and you take his voice and you slam it against the wall and you say, no, you're not going to be fucking heard. You're not going to be fucking heard. We don't give a fuck if you say you're not abused. You're fucking abused because we say so. Exactly. Exactly. You're emotionally abusive to my child. You're abusive to my child. You're abusive to that 14-year-old, not me. Because whatever he says, it doesn't fucking matter because it's still stuck in your head that someone's abusive. When <laughs> like, she, she actually doesn't get how putting her kid on camera... And not one, but two live streams, and then try to do it again on your channel. Like, she doesn't get how that in itself is abuse. Yep. I'm to do good. I'm going to expose my kids to strangers on the internet. Yeah. It's what all the internet moms are doing. Yep. Can you imagine the anxiety of listening to someone scream about how they're going to kill themselves, scream about, you know, just all kinds of things, just yelling and screaming all day. Like, I can't even imagine the level of anxiety in that household. They're not. My husband said I wasn't abusive. Well, nope, I'm still abusive. My kids say I'm abusive. No, I'm still abusive. My ex-husband even said I was not abusive. What? <laughs> That's a damn lie. That's a big damn lie, yep. Yeah, and if you guys have not seen that, if you go to the Geek Room, they actually interviewed her ex-husband in a two-part, uh, part one and part two series thing, and he absolutely said that she was verbally abusive and physically abusive with him. <laughs> like she's a, like this is just demonstrably proven that she is a domestic abuser. That's just a fact. So it's pretty hilarious that she's still trying to push this, this lie that she's not an abusive person. <laughs> God. But still, I'm still abusive. Because you need to hang on to your fucking shitty narrative so you can bash me on the internet so you can get some fucking little money for yourself. It's so fucking sick what is happening to me, and I'm fucking done with it. I'm fucking done of the slander, the constant slander of me. And then my sons have to deal with this constant slander of them. 
They're picking on a 14 year old and thinking it's okay while they kept going to one person after another person. Oh, you're picking on a child. You're picking on a child. But it's okay. Nobody was picking on your kid. People were telling you to get them off stream. People were telling you to end the stream or go into another room where he wasn't. That's what people were saying. Nobody was picking on him. Exactly. Mm hmm. I agree. Okay. It's okay for them to do. It's okay to call a 14 year old a liar who said, My parents aren't like this. Will you stop it? You co constantly calling authorities on us is affecting me. No, no. Instead, they try to twist it into something else. So, where that comes from is <laughs> over the Christmas holiday when Shani decided to get piss ass drunk and puke on a live stream all over the floor. Um, Rev and one of the boys helped clean it up because she immediately went upstairs and supposedly like took a bath or something. Well, there was a bunch of stuff that happened. And for whatever reason, there was a welfare check that was called. And when the police showed up, the older boy walked past and the police officer said, is that your daughter? Because all they saw was the back of him and he does have long hair and he's kind of slender. And so he walked by and the police officer said, is that, is that your daughter? And Rev said, no, that's one of Shani's sons. You know how we know this, Shani? It's because Jason got on camera and talked about it. <laughs> this is, again, one of those things where, you know, you guys put your business out there. Then you antagonize five different communities. And then you're mad because one troll was making a joke that he was a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Oh, fuck. No idea. I, I, I don't know. Oh, he's just normalizing the abuse. No, why would he normalize the abuse and tell the internet to stop it? Don't you think if a kid was abused, he would try to get anything out of his power to get out? I was abused. And I kept trying to call the authorities. He would welcome it. Not deny it. Trust me, he would welcome it. But you keep doing this to people. You keep doing this to people and you don't leave them alone when they say, leave me alone. My Pushing fabro. people's boundaries over and over My and over fabro. again. You can't listen to a 14-year-old kid who says, leave me alone. You can't even do that. You can't even be an adult and respectful enough to a child. Well, you can't um, be an adult and stop putting your child in adult situations and keep them off the internet and stop using them to guilt people. Correct. Like she's literally using her son for views. <laughs> that's, that's just, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Expect me not to say anything? You expect me not to be like, hey, you're bothering my fucking kid? I don't think so. I don't think so. Your whole crew, your whole crew, your whole crew do nothing but pick on 14 year olds and kids and try to make their parents look abusive. She's doing this inside. For your own, for your own, for your own entertainment sake. She doesn't go outside. <laughs> 
She screams in, in their apartment. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. You people are going down for this. Ooh, we're going You're down. Going down. We're going down. Jesus Christ himself said, do not touch the little ones. For it'd be better for you to tie a noose over your neck and be thrown into the ocean. So I guess you better stop putting your kid on the internet. Hmm. Because the last time I checked, you know, applies to you as well, right? It would be better for you to drown than pick on children, according to Jesus Christ. Aren't we children, Jules? Yeah, we're children. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be like 16? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she still calls me a little girl, so, and she considers me a child. Yeah. So that's kind of weird, Danny. Why are you talking about abusing a child? I'm yeah. A child. You're abusing a child, Shanny. So keep picking on my kid. Keep calling my kid a liar just because you can't seem to get it out of your head that I'm abusive. You can't seem to get that narrative out of your head. You got to keep trying to spin it and spin it and spin it and spin it to people because it's, it's the only time you ever get fucking attention. The only time you ever get attention is when you're trying to push abuse on someone, when you're trying to point your finger at someone and tell them they're the bad guy. I kind of feel like she's talking to herself right now. Yeah. She is. <laughs> nice. The Babysitter's Club. That's hilarious. Oh my god, that is funny. Mm-hmm. When really it's you piece of fucking shit. It's really you people who are the bad guy. Constantly attacking families. Constantly calling people's jobs to get them fired. Girl, you don't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> and Rev has never worked a job in his life. So, what? What? Try again. Constantly calling authorities, trying to get them in trouble with the law, trying to get their freaking uh, uh, food stamps taken away, get their 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 uh, get everything they have taken away. Hmm. I seem to remember Shani talking about how she was gonna uh, give G Man money to go after drag. Because she's dumb as a box of rocks. And she thought that somehow she was going to be able to get Drag's VA benefits taken away from him. Yeah. Hmm. No. No, he doesn't. Um, he, he claimed, I believe, yesterday or the day before... That he does have a job, but that it's not Uber, it's something else. I doubt it. Because he's lied about having jobs in the past. And it's like, you can't really believe anything they say. The truth eventually kind of seeps out. You're interfering with people's personal lives and you think it's fucking funny. And when a 14-year-old finally steps up and says, stop this shit, you're ruining my fucking life, you decide to call him a liar and push even more boundaries. And this is a whole fucking crew. And I'm going to drop fucking names. This is the Geek Room. Ooh. This is Dragnaut. Shout out. This is Jules. Oh, Jules. This is... Oh, she, oh. How does it feel to have Keep a celebrity drop your name? Oh my god, I feel so great, you know. Oof. Dropping names. This is Miss Parker. Oh, this is Black Guy TV. Uh -oh. All of them are uh -oh. picking on my children. Oh. oh. 
<laughs> I'm getting some great. I, I guess uh, we're a bunch of answer. like a group of haters that pick on uh, her child specifically. We're a bunch of meanie poopy heads. We're gonna exactly. be sued. She's gonna sue us. Once I get All my pro boner lawyer. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna get a pro boner lawyer, folks. She's you so just smart. wait. The one thing they didn't buy with that money apparently is a dictionary. Constantly saying God. I'm abusing my children and my husband, trying to twist me into something I am not because I get angry. Just say pause if you want me to pause it. Yeah, no right. People on the internet pushing my fucking buttons. Poke, 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 poke. It's going to end now in Jesus Christ's name. The torturing of oh, my God. family. It's been years. My son even verifies it's been years of you guys torturing us. Hmm. It's very weird that you're having these conversations with your child. Also, a lot of us are fairly new. We haven't been around, quote, for years. So... Sorry about your luck, hater, but it's not true. <laughs> constantly calling authorities. Constantly getting in our business. Christ, yeah, he, she woke him up. <laughs> yeah, by the way, she's been screaming because this is the middle of the night. And Rev is sleeping next to her. And the kids are in the next room sleeping because they got school the next day. Mother of the year, folks. Mother of the year. Don't call my child a liar just because he said, leave me alone. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Because you prove to everyone every day you don't leave me alone. Every day you're making a new video. Look what Shani's doing. I can't believe Shani's cooking. She's such a disgusting person. How dare she cooks when you, you were complaining that I wasn't cooking. You were. Another shout out to us and our, our awesome stream that we did. <laughs> yeah, she's a little she's a little salty about it. She's very salty. It's like nobody was complaining that you did DoorDash. They were just doing commentary on it. And that's that's the thing. It's like, um, you put yourself out there, people are going to have an opinion. We're complaining that I wasn't coming out of my room. But now that I'm getting out of my room, now that I'm cooking, now that I'm actually living life, oh, now, now, now it's, I, I'm having a problem with that too. I can't do that right. You can do nothing right, Shani. Oh, Shani can't walk. She's bedridden. Oh, I go up and I try to cook up my family a meal. Oh, look at her. She's Got so. In a chair. Yeah. Sat there throwing shade on people the whole time. Oh my goodness. And fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're fucking disgusting. You're fucking disgusting. disgusting. You spend your life bashing a woman disgusting. as some fat fucking men. Disgusting. Fat, disgusting, smelly, sweaty fucking men calling me disgusting? Look in the goddamn mirror, you yeah. fat, ugly fuck. Wow, it's so really now we're just... Woo! So now we're disgusting men. Awesome. I'm assuming... Is she talking about the geek room, I'm assuming? Does she know that there's a yep. woman co-host on there? I guess she forgot about no, that. No, she doesn't give a fuck. She probably she would call her a whore too. Yeah. <laughs> facts. 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 Mm-hmm. 
fucks. I'd never fuck men that look like you. Never. Ew. I'd rather die than touch any men that look anything like any of your crew. Then die, bitch. You're always talking about how my body looks, how it smells. Always doing this to me. Always doing this to me. Always telling me how to think, how I should breathe, who I should be friends with, who I should talk to. What? Don't care enough about you yeah, she, to you dictate. Can't be friends with anybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. But she does that to other people, though. Like, how many people, how many enablers have come along? And oh my gosh, now I'm talking like her. Oh my gosh. That's oh my <laughs> God. I know, right? Because <laughs> I do it as a joke. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. My dog is um I heard I he's heard dreaming. Dog. He's dreaming. I he's know, I dream. love when they do that. It's so cute. <laughs> but yeah, like how many how many enablers have come along and wanted to be her friend and they make excuses for her and then she starts dictating to them who they can and cannot be friends with. <laughs> it's like this whole thing is just a massive projection. And then, and then not only that, your whole crew, Dragnaut's crew, Geek Room's crew, the whole crew, Shout they go out. around people who actually like me, and they harass them too. They call their family members. They get a hold of their family members. Mm, what? No. no. That has never happened. That's okay. never happened. <laughs> Again, she just is going to say this stuff. Again. You know, but there's no there's no proof. There's no receipts. Everybody else shows receipts in their videos. She does not. It's always like, oh, this person said this. They said that. But there's never any proof of anything that she says. And they try to get them in trouble with their jobs, too. This whole group of fucking psychopathic people. Who've, who, who've scared people into silence. Well, I'm not going to be silent anymore with you guys. Go try to fucking sue me. Go try. I will counter sue you further than you ever possibly could. I will counter, counter, counter sue you. What is he talking um, about? I'm shaking in my boots. Oh, no. She's going to sue Google and then sue us. We're oh, in big... Fuck. We're in big doo doo. Google, folks. you better watch out. Yeah. She's got that pro boner lawyer. Oh, no. Because <laughs> you literally have destroyed my life. Literally. I haven't done shit to destroy your life. All I'm doing is saying you're abusing me and my family and have been for years. And there's plenty of proof for it. There's plenty of proof for it. No, if I broadcast my family, this doesn't happen. There are plenty of families who broadcast their family on YouTube and they do not get attacked like this to this severity. Don't yeah, but the content that they put out is family friendly. <laughs> they don't talk about any of those things that she does. They'll scream the N-word. They don't talk about their menstrual cycles. They don't do OnlyFans and then talk about it. They don't do any of that. So. And the ones that are really crazy, they actually lose their channels. They lose their subscribers. They lose sponsors. And some of them even end up in jail. Like Daddy O Five, <laughs> there's lots of examples of families not doing well on YouTube. Don't bullshit me with that fucking bullshit. This is not normal. This is not normal. Grown adults should not get other people adults and try to ruin lives because they're on the internet. Don't you ever try to normalize that abuse. 
Don't you ever try to normalize that abuse. Most families who have their families on the internet, they don't get harassed like I do. Don't bullshit me with that bullshit. Oh, she really told us, huh? Don't bullshit me with that bullshit. She done got us, boys. Time to walk out. Mm hmm. Well, guys, it has been about two hours, and I appreciate everybody who, um, who showed up and was in the chat. Um, I'm still very new to this. This is like literally the second live stream I've ever done. So <laughs> be I kind. Everybody likes my picture. Isn't it cute? I'm a doctor now. But please go sub to Joel's. Uh, the link to her channel is in the description. Uh, please sub to me if you like this content. I do mostly. Um, actually, I do videos mostly. So check those out. Um, I actually have close to 15 different Lowell's cows that I make videos about. It's not just Shani. It's a whole bunch of different people. And I try to sort of alternate the people that I make videos about. Um, I have a video about Vaughn that's coming out. And then there's possibly, possibly another music video that I'm working on. Um, also, our cash apps are in the description if you want to tip us uh, for a coffee or something. Um, Jules, did you have anything you want to shout out? Um, yeah, y'all are a bunch of bitches and, um, <laughs> uh, we're all fake and you're all trolls and yeah, I hope, I hope you like that Shani owned us tonight. Totally. So, Say it in your real voice, Jules, in your real voice. Shani owned us tonight. Yeah, you're <clears> a bunch <throat> of bitches. Ugh. You're a bunch of bitches. <laughs> Fuck. You need to get that voice modulator like Billy has. <laughs> um, let me get the... Um, oh, gosh. Let me get the, um, the Geek Room link here because I think they're still live. Hold on just one second. So go, go there. The boys. Yeah, definitely go there after... Um, after you leave here, they're cool. Um, there's a lot of channels connect. If you're new to my channel or new to kind of this whole Shanny dumpster fire, there's quite a few channels. Um, all the channels that she shouted out actually think Shanny, but yeah, Dragnaut, you have Secular Opinion, Grampy Lobster, The Geek Room, Black Eye TV, Miss Parker, Jules. There's a lot of channels that do commentary and videos on a whole host of different people. And it's, to me, it's really fascinating. But anyway, thank you guys for, for watching and uh, we will see you in the next one.